I really want to like show off this dress, but looks like I don't know how to wear a jacket. Hey guys, what is up? If it's echoing here, like I just don't have that much furniture. Today we're gonna do a Q&A because uh, it's been a minute. So I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me some questions and I'm going to start from the bottom just cause, why not? Um, and I'm gonna try to get through as many of them as we possibly can. First question is, what are some feel good songs that you listen to for an extra boost? I used to think that like listening to sad songs was like such a good idea when you're bummed cause you can like relate to stuff. But I honestly don't think that that's true. For me anyways, it just gets me like more sad. So like, I have a playlist going right now and on it I have the song the plan by the front bottoms. I have December again, which is a sad song, but there's two versions of it. So you can listen to the one that has Chris from um, Dashboard, or you can listen to the one called December again, which is with Mark Hoppus. So that's by Neck Deep. But also there's this band called Hounds of Hate that I really like, and I've been listening to them a lot lately because it's like such a neutral zone and it doesn't make me sad. So I'm just like, yeah. Next question is, would you ever come to Australia? Um, I would love to come to Australia. My friend Tori is actually coming from Australia all the way to Canada and I'm so excited. Holy heck, um, she's coming next year and she's already booked her flight. I'm so excited. So um, I would love to go over there and visit. Like it just seems like the most beautiful place in the world. So yes, I would love to. This one asks, what are bands that I'm listening to at the moment? Lately, I'm listening to like a lot of Neck Deep and I'm listening to, like I said, that like band Hounds of Hate. Um, there's a band called Cold Front, my best friends are in. I always plug them, I love them to death. If you guys are into pop punk like me, you will love them as well. Next question is, do you ever wanna have kids? If so, how many and what names do you want to give them? Um, I do wanna have kids, like I don't know when. Honestly, like that's such a hard thing for me to think of. I'm like, oh my God, when am I supposed to have kids? Like I'm definitely not ready at all now and I don't feel like I'll be ready in a couple of years. So I don't know when that's gonna happen. Like probably in my 30s, I would say. I would like boys, open for girls. A name that I really like is Paisley for a girl. How are you liking your new house? Does Oak seem to enjoy it? He does, I think he likes the space. It's considerably bigger than my last place. Um, there are certain things that I know that he, like, he probably misses. Um, like the path that we had like that we walked him on and stuff and it's all stuff that I miss as well So I think that yeah, he likes it. Um, I would like something with a bigger backyard This question is what is my favorite lip color to wear? I actually just put this one on this is love bite by Kylie cosmetics and I really really like it like it's such a nice dark color without being overwhelming my favorite lip color like go-to is delicious by covergirl no questions asked. What has been your favorite project to do with YouTube? Probably something that I just recently did. I'm gonna like segue this t into this, but like I'm in Cosmo magazine this month, you guys. Like what? Um, so I have to, I just, I just have to show you. So if you go to page 41, there's a whole full page Sally Beauty ad right here, like of me. That's me, that's my hair, that's when I had sunset hair. And then if you go to page 84, that's me. That is my glitter roots. Like, are you freaking kidding? So I'm in Cosmo twice this month. This is the October issue with Kourtney Kardashian on it. You guys should go pick it up. <laughs> but like segueing into like my favorite project was the Sally Beauty campaign. Like we did it so that we did a video obviously on my channel, but then we also did it so that I was like, one of their fall campaign hair colors and I'm in Sally Beauty stores and there's all this signage. And apparently there's like an ad running on TV. What are some things you've regretted about taking on YouTube as your full-time job slash career? If there are any. And how do you unplug from life online to chill mode at home when things get tough? Much love. Thanks girl. It's been tough and I would say it's been more tough like recently. I think when your channel starts to grow is when it becomes a little bit more tough, when it becomes more serious and something you depend on to live on. I think that it's hard having your personal life online all the time. Like I didn't think it was for the first like two years that I did YouTube because maybe because I wasn't that open about my personal life. Like the reason my Instagram and my Twitter don't have as many followers is because I didn't tell people what they were for a really long time. And I kept that really private. And now that everything's kind of out there and open, it's tough because 
um, everybody kind of knows everything and like with that comes like people want to know about your family and your friends and stuff and I hate seeing like my friends and family affected by anything that comes from my online life if it's negative and so I think that that's been something that I found hard. They don't, they didn't ask to like be a part of my online life and not to say that there's like a lot of people that don't want to be a part of it because there aren't and a lot of people are really supportive but it's more so the fact that people feel like because they know me and they can reach out to me that they can just like do the same to them. I don't know and I think that that's tough and in a lot of cases I feel guilty. I think what boils down to is just like having your personal life out there. I want to share my personal life with you guys and I want to vlog and I want to do all that kind of thing but it gets tough. There are lines that get crossed, um, there are lines that have to be put in place and it, that's what I would say is like the hardest thing. Sometimes I'm upset and sometimes I just want to ditch social media altogether and I'm sure you guys have days where you want to ditch social media and you don't want to go online. I read something somewhere that like Jennifer Aniston doesn't have a single social media account. I don't know if that's true, but I was like so envious when I read that because she must live a life of bliss. I can't really unplug. Like it's very hard because it's my life and it's my job and I can't just stop working, you know? So there are like give and takes and I'm still learning like as I go, I'm still learning what to do and how to handle this stuff and how to unplug and how to take breaks and what to share and what not to share and I'm learning and I know that I'll get better at that but I feel like on YouTube like a lot of YouTubers are judged for their personal lives and I feel like that's why a lot of them have stepped back in the recent years and stopped putting so much online because in the world of YouTube people just feel like they can say anything. It's it's crazy. Sorry, this was a weird rant. Did I even answer the question? I don't know. <laughs> if you hadn't started YouTube, what do you think you'd see yourself doing? Do you think you'd be the same person you are today? I don't think so, no. I would probably be a junior photographer still, probably just a junior um, at like the studio I'm working at. Maybe a senior, probably just a junior. Overall, like I am more confident in myself and um, that's a lot to do with YouTube and I have made so many friends from making videos that it's mind-boggling and wouldn't change that for the world. My favorite makeup look that goes with my new hair is the one I'm currently wearing. It is this like smoky eye. I'm gonna put the link um, in the upper corner and you guys can go watch a tutorial on how I did this eye. It's my go-to. It's just, I love it. On a scale of one to 10, how rad is that Desi chick? Desi, you're pretty rad. <laughs> You've had lots of different hair colors so far, but which one has been your favorite? My favorite was the half and half when it really faded out. Like that was my all time favorite, but I really, really miss having normal hair. I'm in this like phase right now where I just want normal hair again. <laughs> my favorite makeup brand. I don't know that I have one because I use so many different things from, from everybody. Right now I'm loving the Tarte Water Foundation, is that what it's called? That's what I have on right now and I absolutely love it. You know what, I love the Anastasia highlight and, and the brow, so maybe I might say Anastasia because they have really good liquid lipsticks too. Where do you see yourself in five years and what hair color will you be rocking? I'm gonna have brown hair for sure. In five years, I hope to to have my own business and um, I hope to be living in a new house, one that I absolutely love. I like this house, don't like the area. I think that maybe needs to be a story time video, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, I'm looking forward to filming a lot more. I know that my content has been um, a little bit, you know, not there lately, but I am going to start filming and I have a whole bunch of video ideas. I really want to film the full face of highlighters challenge. Is it too late to do that? Like, is it? Thank you for sticking with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. So today we're going to be doing the smoky eye tutorial. Show them your brows. Show them how to get your brows. Look at them. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Fall is finally upon us, so I thought what better time to change up my look. So keep watching and I'll show you how I did it. So here is the star of the show. This is the Ion Color Brilliance Semi-Permanent Hair Color in Azure.